Hi students, today we are going to learn base method multiplications. In this method, you can do calculations within no time. So here we are using the word base, right? Here, when you are doing the calculations, we have, I mean, this method is applicable when the numbers are nearer to base value. What are the base value? Base value is nothing but we are taking the reference, that reference as 10, 100, 1000, simply multiplications of powers of 10. 10, 10 square, 10 cube, 10 power 4 and so on. Or simply we can say that 10, 100, 1000, 10,000 and so on. Okay. In base method calculation, the calculation can be done within no time once you understand the concept. Okay. Now, what is the process here? See here, 99, sorry, 98 into 99. If I have to do in a normal method, traditional method, it will take minimum 1 to 2 minute, right? But in this method, this can be done within no time. Why late? Let us learn that concept now. Here, these numbers are nearer to 100. I am taking the base as 100, right? First step, what we need to do is, how much the given numbers are less than 100? So, 98 is how much less than 100? Right, 2. Okay, again, 99 is how much less than 100? 1. So, you are writing 1 here. That's it. The process is over. Now, you have to do small adjustments here. First, you need to take the product of these two numbers. 2 into 1, how much? 2. Is 2 a single digit number or double digit number? Single digit number. Whereas, here we have to write a two digit number. As 2 is a single digit number, you will write the 2 as 0, 2. Right? What are the other step? Listen carefully. You have to take this 98 in a diagonal. You have to look diagonal. 98 minus 1 is how much? 97. You can follow this method or this method. 99 minus 2 is how much? 97. So, in either way, you can write, you got 97. Okay, what is the steps involved here? First, you will find the difference between 100 and the given numbers. That is what we did here. Okay, then you are taking the product of these two numbers, write those values here. If you get a single digit number, you have to write, you have to place 0 before that number. If it is a double digit number, you can write directly double digit number here. Now, what are the numbers that we will get here? Simple, diagonal subtraction. 98 minus 1 is how much? 97 or 99 minus 2 is how much? 97. Let us do one more example. Here, 94 into 93. What is the first step? Find the difference between 94 and 100. What is the difference? 6. So, 100 minus 6 is 94. Now, how much it is less than 100? 7. So, 100 minus 7 is 93. Now, look at here. What we need to do here? First, I have to take the product of these two numbers. 6 into 7. 6 into 7 is how much? 42. So, write 42 here. What is the next step? Simply diagonal subtraction 94 minus 7. How much? 87 or 93 minus 6? 87. So, the answer is 8, 7, 8, 7, 4, 2. Let us go for other example. Now, what is the difference between 87 and 100? Write 13. 1, 3. 
What is difference between 97 and 100? 3. 100 minus 3 is 97. Now, you have to take the product of these two numbers. 13 into 3. How much? 39. Here, you will write 39. What is the next step? Diagonal subtraction. 87 minus 3, which is 84. I hope you understand this method. In the next session, we are going to discuss few more questions from this method.